it has been a successful spring for the Straight Blast Gym International affiliate in St. Catharines. Several of their amateur fighters have won titles in their respective weight classes, including Justin Cronkright and Philip Laporcha. Yeah, uh, we started our amateur MMA comp team, and I've been really building that team up slowly and taking our time. The guys trusted me, uh, worked with me, and now we started to come around to the local event, seeing that there were some places for us to fight. And right now we're currently 7-0, and, and we have three uh, championship titles to our team. Cronkright is the new 155-pound champion in the Underground Combat Alliance after submitting his opponent 19 seconds in to a recent fight in Fort Erie. Uh, it feels really good. Uh, if it's, it's nice to bring it home for Coach Rich too. He puts a lot of his time into us and takes away from a lot of his family and a lot of stuff like that to put in here at the gym and it's just nice to, to show him that everything pays off and that we're going places with this. It's very nice. What do you like about this? You're, all, you're putting a lot of time into this. What's... Um, first and foremost, it's probably the people. Everyone here is almost like a, like a family to me. Um, the training's great. The physical exercise is awesome. But most importantly, I think it's the people and it's the uh, principles that we set and just the values. Yeah, Coach Justin, a uh, phenomenal human being. Uh, technical athlete, uh, puts in the work. He has a really good uh, work ethic and super nice guy, but when he gets into the cage, he can turn it on. And uh, I don't think there's going to be too many people that will be as technical as he ever is. Cronkright is just a few years into his mixed martial arts training and is happy to see that the hard work is starting to pay off. The biggest hurdles I'd say are learning to, um, when you first join, there's a lot of time spent on bottom and there's a lot of time getting smashed by guys that have been around for a long time. A lot of people can't get through that so they'll, they'll kind of quit or their ego gets in the way or whatever. So you kind of just got to leave all that at the door, take your licks and kind of just learn as it comes to you one day at a time. Laporchok is preparing for Canadians later this month in Edmonton. This comes on the heels of winning the middleweight belt for the Ontario Grappling Alliance. Uh, I was supposed to have a, I had a scheduled fight for uh, over here in Fort Erie. Um, the guy backed out. Uh, two days later, Rich said, do you want to fight for the Ontario uh, championship? I said, no problem. I basically had two, three days to cut 15 pounds. Uh, that was the hard part. <laughs> then I came in there, I haven't fought at all in three years. So I had a bit of a little nervousness going on, but uh, we pulled through and uh, we won. So. So it was a good time. Philip. I've met Philip at St. Francis when I was doing my bullyproofing safe system years ago. And I knew from that day that that guy's going to be a champ one day. He will do anything it takes to do it. He's smart, strong kid. He's intelligent. And he has a work ethic like no other. Laporchuk's dedication to the sport can't be questioned. He drives to St. Catharines from Newmarket several times a week to train. Almost two hours here, two hours back. It's a four hour round trip. There's lots of gyms in the GTA. What keeps you coming here? The respect I have towards Rich. Uh, he's loyal, lets me train here. Um, good vibe. He's, uh, it's just a good atmosphere. Good atmosphere to train with. It's easy going and uh, good fundamentals. In Niagara, you're watching The Source.